I'm Edgar Cherry. I'm Amanda Payne. I'm Stavros Suvlaki. Up and down the country, the earth is trembling to the tramp of marching feet, the squeak of marching wheelchairs, and the creak of marching crutches as the country's elderly and infirm take to the streets in their hundreds and hundreds of thousands. I'm Amanda Payne, and what Edgar is trying to say is that a lot of very sick people are marching, and why? Well, this was the oncology unit of Nightcaps Hospital, closed by government edict ten minutes ago. Now, if you want to die of cancer, you have to drive all the way to Invercargill to do it. This is Johnny Langton. He led the doomed fight to keep the Nightcaps Hospital open. I was born here. I had my appendix out here. And then the testicles didn't descend. No, look, can we kill them? My one hope was to die here. But given the level of health services on offer, I thought it was a foregone conclusion. <coughs> but Johnny won't die here. And such was the local community's hope that he would, that they took to the streets. Or in Nightcap's case, the street. And this scene has been repeated up and down the country. Bring back the leash! Despite the fury of the protests, the Ministry of Health has reacted curiously. Oh, oh, we're delighted. Yesterday, they were lying in a ward feeling sorry for themselves. Look at them now. They're out the fresh air, marching, shouting, waving their little black artists. It's like aerobics. <laughs> oh, you see that woman there? Two days ago, she couldn't go to the toilet by herself. Now, she's out in the sun, bathroom blues, banished forever. Oh, marvellous. I mean, you can't buy health care like this for love nor money. <laughs> and look, if we can get the country exercising like that, just by closing down one dingy old hospital, why not close down a few more? In fact, why not close down the lot? <laughs>